Hey guys, Stomp here. Um, today's video will be all about drawing. Um, the title is How to Make a Cartoon of Yourself. And the app we'll be using is Adobe Illustrator Draw on an iPad, but you can also use an iPhone. You can also use an Android device, any tablet uh, that's touch screen. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Hey guys, we're back and we're back on the iPad and um, as you can see I've got my Adobe Draw app ready there so I'm going to tap into it and uh, I've got my background set now I want to choose an image now that could be your face it can be anyone else I'm going to go into my iPad you can uh, get your image from a you can take a photo and then get the image you can go into files and um, many other ways to get uh, an image of what you want. Uh, a familiar face from YouTube called Mr. Jack Septicai. So we're going to colour him in. And uh, if you're happy with the placement of your image, just tap the screen and just move him around. And uh, press done. And uh, we're ready to um, start tracing. So let's get that started. So what I like to do first is just tap and hold the image uh, layer and just drag it so that the draw layer is on top. And uh, tap into that. And uh, I usually like to put the opacity. Just scroll the opacity up and down to see what you're happy with. You know, like uh, you still want to see the image. I think 50% should be um, okay for this. So tap on that again. Uh, tap the draw layer. Make sure you're using the draw layer. And uh, okay, we'll get to the left. We've got some tools here. We've got pens and brushes and whatnot. Got a if I tap down the bottom here. We've got a eraser tool and you can just tap on the wheel and slide it up and down to pick how big you want it and then that comes in handy when you make mistakes so tap on that and get out of that and tap on the pencil tool right at the top and it's set to uh, a black color so that's fine um, if you tap and hold the uh, actual brush or the pencil You've got some uh, brushes here that you can use. So I'm using the top one, which is basic round. You can also use taper, uh, flat, chisel, and this terminal. They've got different effects, obviously, so you can just play around with that and see what effects you like the most. But I'm just going to just go with the uh, basic you tap on this size to whatever size of the uh, pencil you wish to have I will do a 1.5 for the outline of his face and of course if you pick the color wheel tap that you can do whatever outline color you like usually if it's just a, like a cartoonish kind of image you usually it's black but that's your choice so I'll choose black and we're ready to outline so you put two fingers on the screen if you push them out and in as you can see you can zoom in and out of the image so I will just leave it there so I can see what I'm doing and I'm ready to draw so I'm going to start drawing the outline and you can start wherever you like now as you can see um, I don't like that line so what you do is put your two fingers on the screen and slide left and it will raise that line if you want that line back if you've made a mistake and you and you think well I want that line to come back and you think oh my god how am I going to get that back simply swipe the other way with two fingers so you swipe to the right hand side which is near the not where it says close but at the top where, it, where it's got all the um, tools at the top there uh, you swipe that way to bring it back to erase it you swipe to the close side so that's the left hand side swipe it 
it erases it. So I'm going to do the line again, and that's fine. So that's how you erase and bring back the line, and then just basically you um, keep doing the outline. Alright guys, we're back and uh, we're ready to start the colouring process. So we we're going to pick a, a spot that you want to start with. So I will pick the hair. But first of all, I just want to go into the image layer and uh, turn the opacity to 100% or about, uh, say, uh, say 95 or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Go back to tap on the draw layer. Make sure that when you're colouring, you are uh, on the draw layer because um, otherwise it just won't work so you want to go into the pencil you want to pick the color tap the color and hold and it'll bring you this color picking wheel so you want to pick which area you want to copy what color do you want to copy first so I think we'll start um, how about we do his skin okay so as you can see We've got a skin tone in the color wheel, so we've got your skin tone. So all you want to do is tap and hold your finger on the area that you want colored, and it will magically color that area. So if we um, just zoom out, you've got his uh, that area colored that you wanted. You can continue that with other areas. All right, guys, and the, the area that a lot of people um, seem to be falling down is the um, is uh, the coloring bit where you color different bits and they say that you know it doesn't color properly it's um, the main reason well is because your lines your black lines or your outlining of different areas are not connected so if you want the lips to be a separate color from the face then you have to make sure that all the lines are connected so let's just make an example here we'll tap and hold the color wheel pick the the lip area yeah, well, let's just have a look tap and hold the lip and uh, tap and hold the bottom uh, the top sorry and that's how you get a separate color now obviously the the area that you pick with the color wheel um, that you choose the color with that's the color that will come up so if you're not happy with it swipe back and press the color wheel and bring it back and maybe you want it a bit lighter so we'll try it again yep so but um, this is don't forget this is just one process you can when you finish the image you can also do lights and darks which is shading but um, I think that'll be for another video or another tutorial but um, just as basic colouring, that's what you do. Press and hold to copy the colour, then tap on the area that you want that colour to be coloured in and you will have it. And so what I will do now is continue the rest of the colouring in, we will complete it and uh, we'll see the result after this short time lapse. Alright guys, we are back, and there you have it, the completed uh, colouring of 
face body and um, now typically a lot of people will leave it at this stage uh, hang on I haven't done this area have I what I'll do is just color that in but you could always choose picker which is uh, this part here where you can we've got the color and you can go lighter or darker and I'll go darker because it's a shaded area let's pick it and if you zoom out you can see that it's kind of it's got a bit of shading to it so that's what you want to do if you want to take this image further um, you can just do lights and darks around the face and, and or whatever image you're doing um, just to give it a bit more like a bit more of a 2d or 3d effect of course you're more than welcome to leave the image as it is at the moment but um, yeah that's about it for this uh, episode I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did um, don't forget to drop a like it really helps uh, me to do more of these kinds of videos for you guys and also if you want to consider subscribing you can do so and um, until next time I'll catch you in another episode